Are you ready to learn how to use ChatGPT for email and calendar management? If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Lian Laila Kaba. I run a virtual assistant agency to XU and I post videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home. So make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos. Now, in a previous video that I have done that did actually really well, you guys wanted to learn more about how to use ChatGPT when it comes to the day-to-day -day tasks that you're doing as a virtual assistant. So I went actually ahead and created a whole product for you guys. We're calling it the 2XU AI Prompt Assistant. So it's basically just a list of different prompts, how to use ChatGPT, as some of the videos that I've done already, and we've even divided it out to one being more for executive assistants and another one for entrepreneurs. So it's a whole prompt training on how to use ChatGPT or any AI prompt tool that you can find online. So whether you're using ChatGPT or any other prompt or chat like AI, you can use the prompts that we're going to walk you guys through. Now, if you guys want access to this, there is a waitlist or this might already be available. So feel free to go into the link below to be able to sign up to be able to get the product. Now, if you've never seen ChatGPT before, this is basically what you'll first find and see. So this is kind of just very basics. You'll sign it up. It's free. You don't have to pay. You don't have to upgrade. As you can see, I haven't even upgraded myself. So go into ChatGPT, walk you through different prompts that you can put in. Now, first thing that I want you guys to do before you even start is introduce yourself in some way. Who you are, what you do, and what you need them to do, what you need the bot basically to do. Now, I did get this from my friend Jeff Hunter. He has a whole course as well on the AA persona that you guys can check out also in the link below. And if you guys get it now, you can even get the discount as he's still running a promo. But basically, you want to introduce yourself in some way. So you can just say, hello, I am Leanne. I am a, as an example, virtual assistant to a non-fiction author. I would like your help as I manage their email and calendar. This way you're giving ChatGPT, again, that background of who you are and what you need from it. Again, this can be used with ChatGPT or any other bot kind of tool, but it will give them like, hey, this is how I can help you. So one of the first things that you can do for email and calendar management for ChatGPT is creating processes. So what I mean by this is you can ask it, can you create a process on how I can manage my client's email because say that they have two email addresses, both from possible possible clients of theirs as well as possible partnerships for their business so when it comes to writing a process you might not be clear on like what that looks like for you so you can throw things into chat gpt to kind of brainstorm hey what's a process that we can do for this and now chat gpt will kind of take what you've inputted and kind of process out of hey this is a step-by-step -step process of how you'll be able to do this so this is it basically it's rolled out a step-by-step -step process for you on how you can manage two emails from you know this one client that you have you can also of course ask it to create one if you're managing two calendars so what i'll basically do is i'll copy and paste this and so instead of client's email, it says calendar. It will be calendar because they have two calendars. One, one for business and one for personal. Same thing. So it's just you're just asking it for what would be a good step by step based on this problem or the situation that I'm currently facing. So it makes it really easy for you to be able to break down what it is that you need from ChatGPT. And again, these prompts are actually in the playbook that we've created for you guys. Feel free to check it out in the link. Uh, but it's kind of just that of like you can ask it to write out a process. You can ask it basically to create a standard operating procedure for you. So then you don't have to do it yourself. Next thing that you can ask ChatGPT to do is to create email drafts. So it's just basically, as you might be writing an email for your client or for yourself as well, you can just ask it to create a draft for you. So uh, for example, create an email draft 
for a reach out email for possible podcast guesting. Very specific. But again, we're going through, I'm a virtual assistant for this author. So then if I just will ask ChatGPT, hey, can you create a draft for po possible podcast guesting? And since it knows that, hey, you know, the person I'm working with is a nonfiction author, so it'll base its knowledge on that. So basically, right off the bat, if you are writing an email for your client, you can just have this. If you want more details though, so let's say create an email draft for each out uh, for possible podcast guessing, you can click that edit icon I just clicked um, for my client who is a, so you can add more detail of business nonfiction author. His name is Joe and the podcast name is Hello Business. So then even though you already have, and you can copy and paste this, this is already good enough, but you want ChatGPT to create specifics, you can ask it to do it this way. So again, it's just I added a few more details just so it can write out from that point of view. And there'll probably still be like, you can see it already added brackets of like, hello podcast name because it doesn't know that information. But the more you feed information or detail to ChatGPT, the more that it has to start off of. You know, they don't have to guess. They can just have the accurate information from you and run from that. And that's basically it. The next thing that you can ask ChatGPT to do is to create a draft for calendar invites. So let's say that you have already kind of set up the meeting, the podcaster says, yep, would love to have you on the show. Then you can ask ChatGPT to create a calendar invite for the podcast show above outlining when. So let's say the when is April 6, 7 p.m. EST. EST through Zoom. So then it then creates that invite for you. You don't have to, again, you don't have to start it from scratch. You can just have ChatGP generate that. So it makes your work a little bit faster, a little bit easier, and just creates that already again from scratch for you. Okay, so quick correction here as it's actually generating. Um, I would pause this because it already calendar invite. So it understood just the calendar invite from the email, but it didn't understand that it'll be the calendar description. So what I'll change is I'll pause it. So I stopped the, gener the generating response and I'll go ahead and edit. Create a calendar invite description for the podcast show above. You know, same detail. So just by adding that one word, hopefully we will have a better outcome from ChatGPT just because it just basically grabbed the, the email from above. Ideally, later on, as you guys start using some of the prompts that we have, it usually is a sequential thing. Um, however, for this, since we're kind of doing this live here on YouTube, then it is a little bit of just touch and go editing things as we go. So again, it grabbed the information from above and put it as part of the counter invite. I didn't have to feed it again what it was just because it understood like, hey, based on the one we said above, just create the same one for below. Now, as you guys have kind of seen the different ways already live on ChatGPT on what the prompts can do, I'm gonna walk you guys through the rest of the different ways you can use ChatGPT for email and calendar management. One of the other ways is you can ask it to create templates for email. So the same way that it was in the examples earlier where it added brackets, you can add it in that way. So anytime that there are common emails that you and your client send out, you can ask it to create an email for that. So for example, for onboarding clients, for you know letting them know on updates, asking for invoices, following up, you can ask ChatGPT to create a list of templates for you for again, the common ones that you and your client will send anyway. This will make it easier for you in the future to just copy and paste from the templates that ChatGPT already created. So then it's easy for you moving forward. Of course, another prompt that you can use is asking it to create drafts for the calendar invite description. So same thing as you saw earlier is it can create those brackets where you just fill in the blanks of different changes to events. So anytime that you have a recurring event that your client goes to that you send invites for, you'll just have already the template for it. So you don't have to keep changing or rewriting it as needed. You can even ask ChatGPT, hey, can you edit the template above, the first template that you have into adding these details. So you can even rewrite that description for you. 
Next is you can ask ChatGPT to do a little bit of event planning for you. So as you're sending out a calendar invite, you can ask it like, hey, can you create a program or an event plan for this event that we're running? We have three different speakers. It's going to be from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. They have 30 minutes each, but then 10 minutes for Q&A with introduction and outro. So then it will write out what that program would look like so it can plan out the event for you. So it makes it really easy for you to just grab, copy and paste that and then actually just edit as needed before sending it out to the people who are concerned. So when it comes to that, it makes it super easy to just put everything in one place and that's kind of the magic of just using AI. Next is you can also use ChatGPT when it comes to analyzing schedules. So what I mean by that is you can input into ChatGPT the usual schedule that your client has. So as an example, for me, I you know have my regular like workouts in the morning. I make sure my lunch in there, and then I make sure that I insert a walk somewhere in my day. Now my EA Honey, what she can do is she can put all of my usual meetings as well in there list it out in bullet form and ask ChatGPT, hey, what's a way that we can make this more productive without having to sacrifice the habits or sacrificing the client's schedules? Is there anything that should be taken out or to be even longer? So you're asking ChatGPT to analyze the calendar to see, hey, does this make sense? Is there a way that we can optimize this and make this better? Another thing you can ask ChatGPT to do is then creating an ideal schedule. Let's say your client is maybe a little bit of a mess and they need just help on creating a good schedule for themselves. You can ask ChatGPT, hey, my client has a goal of XYZ. So let's say my client has a goal of getting 10 clients, basically hopping on 20 sales calls a day, but they also have these habits that they want to make sure that they're able to do. So how can they do that? So then it creates an ideal schedule and you can ask it more specifically, make this a day by day schedule for every week so they can reach their goals. So then it can write out like Monday, focus on this, Tuesday on this, Wednesday on this, so on and so forth. So it's creating already like, hey, if you don't have a schedule yet, this is the way that you can do it based on you know ChatGPT's analytical brain and being able to break it down to what that ideal week can look like. Next is, of course, you can ask ChatGPT to write email responses. So same thing as earlier where you just ask it to create a draft, you can input an email that you already got, the order and receive, and ask it to write a response to it. Again, it makes it easier for you to not have to start from scratch, but just, hey, can you create an email response to this? Again, add in details because it will help it write. So if you say, can you create an email response rejecting this email? Can you create an email response, you know, adding in these details? So you're making sure that you don't have to edit much, you just have to double check things before sending it out. Next is, and a lot, not a lot of people think of it in this way, is you can ask ChatGPT to change the voice or the tone in the email. So let's say you've already asked it to create the draft or the response. You can ask it like, hey, can you make this sound more professional? Can you make this sound funny? Can you make this sound friendlier? When you do this, ChatGPT will then spout out something to match that personality that you asked it to write for. Another way that you can use ChatGPT is asking for feedback on the email. So let's say you've created already a long email that you're about to send to a client. You can ask it for feedback like, hey, how can I do this better? checking for grammar mistakes, you know, checking if there's a way that they can suggest or it can suggest that it can be written better or more precise or clearly or just being able to do it better for the next email that you write. And lastly, one of the bigger ways that you can use ChatGPT for both email and calendar management is creating summaries, both for when you have a really long email that you want to just create a bullet point from. Same thing with the calendar invite, you can ask ChatGPT to create a summary for the person that you're sending that invite to. So let's say that you got a really long email of the agenda for the next meeting. You can ask ChatGPT, hey, can you summarize this into bullet points? Then can you create a calendar invite based on those bullet points? That way you have a very concise and clear calendar invite to send to people. They know what to expect, all based from asking to summarize it and then create the invite for that. Now, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button right there and comment below what else do you guys want to see from the different prompts that we have as we're still currently developing and finishing up this product that you guys want to be able to know more or prompts or other ways to use ChatGPT. I would love to know. And if you still haven't yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of videos every Sunday and Thursday 
on how to work from home and how to have a business from home, which you guys can check out those two playlists right here and the latest video right here. I hope you guys have an awesome day and remember the small steps matters and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.